2 Corinthians 11, verse 3 to 4. The Bible tells us, But now I fear that you will be tricked, just as Eve was tricked by that lying snake. I am afraid that you might stop thinking about Christ in an honest and sincere way. We told you about Jesus, and you received the Holy Spirit and accepted our message. But you let some people tell you about another Jesus. Now you are ready to receive another spirit and accept a different message. A religious spirit can be defined as serving God without the Holy Spirit. The religious spirit is one of the most clever, deceptive, seductive agents of Satan. The devil's goal is to create confusion concerning God's original plan and purpose for us through our Lord Jesus Christ from eternal damnation. Therefore today, avoid this terrible spirit at all costs. A religious spirit is just as powerful as any other type of witchcraft. In the book of Galatians, Paul told the Galatians they had been bewitched. In Galatians 3 verse 1 to 3, Paul told them, You stupid Galatians, I told you exactly how Jesus Christ was nailed to a cross. Has someone now put an evil spell on you? I want you to know only one thing. How were you giving God's spirit? Was it by obeying the law of Moses or by hearing about Christ and having faith in him? How can you be so stupid? Do you think that by yourself you can complete what God's Spirit started in you? When a religious spirit is influencing us, we replace religious activity for the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. In fact, the religious spirit is Satan's answer for the Holy Spirit. The religious spirit so closely mimics the Holy Spirit that many sincere believers think the Holy Spirit is leading them, when in fact, it is really a religious spirit. A religious spirit is extremely difficult to detect always operating under the guise of partial truth. It promotes his ritual over relationships with God, tradition over truth. Believers are more concerned about keeping rules than getting to know Jesus Christ. A religious spirit is a dangerous spirit. It does not build relationship with God. It only strives to win praises for itself. The spirit of religion is an agent of Satan assigned to prevent change and to maintain the status quo by using religious devices. The religious spirit's primary goal is to promote the idea that doing religious things is what saves you. The religious spirit wants to preserve the status quo by holding on to what the Bible calls traditions of elders. In Mark 7 verse 5, the Pharisees and religion scholars ask Jesus, Why do your disciples brush off the rules, showing up at meals without washing their hands? And in Mark 15 verse 2, after that, Pharisees and religion scholar came to Jesus all the way from Jerusalem, criticizing, Why do your disciples play fast and loose with the rules? In Matthew 15, verse 6 to 9, the Bible said, Is this any way to show respect to your parents? You ignore God's commands in order to follow your own teaching? And you are nothing but a show off. Isaiah the prophet was right when he wrote that God had said, Oh, you praise me with your words but you never really think about me. It is useless for you to worship me when you teach rules made up by humans. One of the ways to overcome the religious spirits is to make the flesh our slave. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 9 verse 27, I keep my body under control and make it my slave, so I will not lose out after telling the good news to others. It has been said that the mind is a great servant but a terrible master. If we allow our minds to rule us, a religious spirit will influence us. We must be cautious and careful in accusing others of having a religious spirit. They are very hard to prove. You have to pray for that person to receive divine revelation while binding up the religious spirit in the name of Jesus. The Bible tells us in James 1 verse 26 to 27, If you think you have been religious but cannot control your tongue, you are fooling yourself and everything you do is useless. Religion that pleases God the Father must be pure and spotless. You must help needy orphans and widows and not let this world make you evil. Matthew 11 verse 28 to 30 tells us, Are you tired, worn out, burnt out on religion? Come to me, get away with me and you'll recover your life. I will show you how to take real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the enforced rhythm of grace. I will not lay anything heavy or ill-feeding on you. Keep company with me, and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Today we are going to pray to confront the religious spirits in the process of repentance, to renounce, and to break all behavioral patterns influenced by this spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I repent and renounce every opening, known or unknown, in my generations that I have given to a religious spirit in my family line, even back to the 10th generation. I repent and renounce every opening, known and unknown, in my personal life, 
that I have given to religious spirit and every work of darkness connected with it. I repent for not fully receiving your love, your compassion, your mercy and grace and forgiveness. And I renounce any belief that you, Father, are distant and judgmental. I choose to embrace all aspects of your character and to intimately know you. I repent for allowing myself to be led by any other spirit other than the Holy Spirit. I repent for relying on my own intellect in worship and praise, in prayer, in reading of the word, in spiritual warfare. I repent and renounce of all legalism, traditions, and religious formulas. I repent and renounce of all participation in dead works. I repent and renounce of all dullness to the things of God. I repent and renounce of hardness of the heart. I choose the oil of your Holy Spirit to flow across my heart. I repent and renounce on placing men's opinion of me above yours. I repent and renounce compromises of the truth of my integrity and of my purity. I repent and renounce of all compromises in my attitude towards sin. I repent for my lack of transparency for covering sins, for not confessing sins, for not receiving correction, for being defensive and quick to justify and rationalize my sin. I repent and renounce of all deception and hypocrisy. I repent and renounce all pride, all arrogance and self-righteousness. I repent and renounce all comparison, judgment, criticism and gossip, jealousy, greed with anger. I repent and renounce all persecution and slander of those moving in the Holy Spirit. I repent and renounce every act of rebellion that has reinforced the spirit of religion in my life. I choose to have obedience as my heart attitude. I choose to no longer partner with the same spirit that killed Jesus and that continues to attempt to kill the work of the Holy Spirit today. I choose to no longer oppose God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I break every hex or curse or vow, every spell, every incantation or ritual. I break every covenant and blood covenant, every sacrifice and blood sacrifice. I break every ungodly soul tie, every ungodly generational tie in my family line. I break any other legal right, known or unknown, for the spirit of religion to stay. Spirit of religion, as the body of Christ, I and those with me come against you today. I refuse to allow you to steal our intimate relationship with our Lord. I refuse to allow you to kill the flow of the Holy Spirit in us. I refuse to allow you to destroy the anointing of others through us. I choose to receive the anointing to break the power of the spirit of religion in the Church of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord Jesus, I confess that I have sinned and I acknowledge my need of you. I thank you for dying on the cross for me and I accept you as my Savior. I invite you now to be Lord of every area of my life. Lord of my spirit, all my worship and my relationship with you. Lord of my mind, all my thoughts, all my attitude and all my behavior. Lord of my emotions, all my feelings and all my reactions. Lord of my will and all my decisions. Lord of my body and all my physical health. Lord of my eyes and all that I look upon. Lord of my ears and all that I listen to. Lord of my mouth and all that I speak. Lord of my hands and all that I do. Lord of my feet and everywhere that I go. And Lord of my sexuality and all its expression. Lord of my family, my entire home, and my pleasure and my relationships. Lord of my work and all my service for you. Lord of my material good, all my possessions, all my finances, and all my needs. Thank you, Jesus, that your blood was shed, that I might be set free. You and you alone are my Lord and Master. I repent and renounce my lack of transparency for covering sin, not confessing sin, for not receiving correction, for being defensive and quick to justify and rationalize sin. I repent and renounce of all deception and hypocrisy, all pride, arrogance, and self-righteousness. I come out of agreement with the enemies of the Most High God in every era and choose to come into agreement with the true living God. I declare my submission to God and His Word, and I ask the Holy Spirit to keep me in alignment with His plans, His purpose, and His ways. In the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, I now break every legal right, known or unknown, for the spirit of religion to stay in my life or my family's life. I choose to no longer partner with the same spirit which killed Jesus and that continue to attempt to kill the work of the Holy Spirit. I come out of agreement with the enemies of the Most High God and I choose to come into agreement with God my Father, with Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. We refuse to allow you to kill the flow of the Holy Spirit in us and in our congregation. We refuse to allow you to destroy the anointing of the Holy Spirit through us. 
We choose to receive the anointing to break the power of the spirit of religion in the church in the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I humble for the blood of Jesus Christ, your Son and my Savior, to cleanse me from all these sins I have confessed and renounced. To cleanse my spirit, my soul, my mind, my emotions, and every part of my body which has been affected by these sins. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I also ask to receive the perfect love of God which casts all fear in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ. I ask you, Lord, to fill me with your Holy Spirit now according to the promises of your word. I take to myself the whole armor of God in accordance to Ephesians chapter 6 and rejoice in it, its protection as Jesus surrounds me and fills me with his Holy Spirit. Father God, I humbly ask for the blood of Jesus Christ, my Savior, to cleanse me from all the sins I have confessed and renounced. I receive your cleansing and forgiveness. Father, thank you for your forgiveness and grace. Please fill me with your love and restore all that was lost or stolen. Thank you for your Holy Spirit who fills me, guides me, and restores me. Father, I confess to you that in the past, through ignorance, through curiosity, or willfully, I came to contact with certain religious activities. I now recognize this as sin and confess it as sins. I claim forgiveness in the name of Jesus Christ. I also renounce and confess as sin any oath which I have taken by any false god and any idolatrous practice in which I have been involved. Satan, I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I am closing any door which I or my ancestors may have opened to you and your demons in Jesus' name. I renounce Satan, all his demons. I declare them my enemies and I command them to get out of my life completely in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I now claim deliverance from any and all evil spirits which may have been in me once and for all. I close the door in my life to all occult practices and command all related spirits to leave me now in the name of Jesus. I break every curse of family destruction in the name of Jesus. I release myself from the whole of any religious spirit strongman in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of religion to loose their hold upon my life in the name of Jesus. I command all evil spirit and religious spirit must come out today in the name of Jesus. Come into the center of my life, Lord Jesus, and rule in me in Jesus' name. I enthrone you, Lord Jesus, in my heart, for you are my Lord and my Savior, the source of eternal life. Thank you, Father. Thanks for your mercy, your forgiveness, and your love. In the mighty name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to God be all the glory. Amen.